Hello friends and welcome back to this video. In this video we will be looking at the minimax algorithm for our tic-tac-toe game. We will create a tic-tac-toe game and we will implement the minimax algorithm when we make our AI play the game. So let's understand how to apply the minimax algorithm for a tic-tac-toe game. A pictorial representation if you will. As we know, Minimax algorithm can be used to play two-player adversarial games like tic-tac-toe. If I try to draw the game tree from the start, it is going to get very long. So I am going to start drawing a tree from the halfway state. SP, the state where we are starting with is shown now. This becomes the current state of the board. Let us call this level 1. This is the current state of the board. Once we start playing, this is the next level. Level 0 is the start of the game and level 1 is the next level. Next turn is of AI at level 0 and AP is the maximizing player. Minimax algorithm is always going to favor the AI as we have created this algorithm so that the AI can play against human and that is why this algorithm is always going to favor the AI. In this particular instance, we are going to draw the entire game tree from zero to start to determine what the next move of the AI should be. In this case, AI is X. AI player can play at three possible choices as shown in the scenario in level one. We notice that we already have two terminal states here and this is also in the favor of AI too. So ideally we can stop here and choose one of these paths and the AI can win. Still, beauty of the Minimax algorithm is the fact that it makes sure that it never loses. In order to make sure that it will never lose, it needs to cover all the possibilities and needs to be absolutely sure that it will never lose. So we will go further down and look for other possibilities of all three choices at level one. Let's look at the output at level one. We have two states that will make the AI win. And if this is the move that AI will make, the score assigned to it will be plus one. As these two are terminal states, they will not have any more child state under them. Now let's go one more step down. At level 1, it is the human player's turn in first tic-tac-toe, which is yet to arrive at terminal state. In this, human player or main player has two choices to make as shown in level 2 with blue circles. Hence, level 2 has two child for these two possibilities for the human player, as you can see now. We have the winner on the human side. As you can see now, we have a winner on the human side. And if this is going to be the winner, the score assigned to this will be minus one, as this is the terminal state which is in favor of the human player and not the AI. So the utility for this is minus one. As for the left node, terminal state is arrived. There is no more child node as it is for the right node. This will go no further step. This brings us to level 3. This is the final level and after this there is no further level as you can see. There are no more boxes left. So we finish drawing the game tree. This entire thing is our game tree. In the final level at level 3 there is a winner and that is the AI player and plus one value is assigned to it. All the terminal states are arrived at and utility value is assigned. Now let's trace back as we do with the minimax algorithm so that we can give their parent node the respective utilities. Let's start tracing back from the last level that is level 3. As you can see with the green arrow, we go at level 2 and this is the only one terminal state for the node at level 3 in the form of level 3. So, the node at level 2 will take the only possible utility value that is plus 1. So, plus 1 is the value assigned to level 2 leaf node. As you can see, now we are at level 2 and both the nodes have value. 
one node has minus one and the other is plus one. This will be used to assign the utility to respective leaf node of level one. Now level one is where the human is playing is the min state. So it is not going to take the largest value. It is going to take the minimum value. So the value assigned to the left over node of level one will be minus one. This is because the human player wants AI to lose and hence it picks minus one. If the human player picks plus one, AI will win and that is not what the human player wants. So now we have all the three utilities for all the child nodes of our starting state. Level zero is the max state and hence it will take the maximum value from the possible child node utility value. Final utility value hence assigned to the node at level zero is plus one. This automatically means that the AI player wins. Now we have the utilities for all the nodes. Now there are two possibilities for the next move by the AI as both are plus one. Our algorithm is going to use the first possible optimal result. That is because the most optimal option. This becomes the optimal move for the AI. This is how our Minimax algorithm works for a tic-tac-toe game. Pseudocode for this is similar to pseudocode that we saw earlier. We can turn the pseudocode to actual code when we create our video with JavaScript models. Now, we have used the Minimax algorithm to solve the tic-tac-toe problem. In the next videos, we will be coding our tic-tac-toe game and making our AI work. With this, we come to the end of this video. Do continue to watch our AI series. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do like, share and subscribe. Signing off.